The CSO found that the share of the sector has fallen more than 3% since 2010. However, the absolute size... Ireland is changing day by day, perhaps now more than any other time in living memory. We have seen our population grow. We've measured Ireland's economy through good times and bad. Some of us were born here. Some of us came to Ireland to find a work or study and to build a new life. Last year, over 10 million visitors came to Ireland's shores. Almost half of these visits were for pleasure. We know that our country continues to grow. And to change. We know that unemployment has been falling consistently over the last six years. But we also know that almost 7% of the population is unable to afford some of life's basics, such as heating, warm clothes or a decent meal. We know that a hundred years ago, over a quarter of a million of us were illiterate. But now, our teenagers have the second highest literacy rate in the EU. We know that our life expectancy and fertility rates are among the highest in the EU. We know that 83% of us consider ourselves to be in good health. But we know that 18% of us have felt discriminated against. We know that over a million people in Ireland have a third level qualification, and over half of these are women. Yet the hourly pay for women remains lower than men. How do we know this? Because you told us. Our household surveys give us a really accurate picture of modern Ireland. Our lives, our economy, our health and our well-being. And you can tell us in complete confidence as we will never share your personal details with anyone, including any government department or office, ever. We count because you matter. So be counted. The CSO, telling Ireland's story. Because you told us. On behalf of everyone all over Ireland, now and in the future, thank you for participating in CSO surveys.